Xi Jinping published an article on the CCP Party School official magazine, Qiu Shi, and emphasized a repetitive idea. Analysts say that this means there are different voices within the CCP, and Xi Jinping hopes to use this article to unify the thoughts. Xi uses a Chinese idiom, "All stars embracing the moon," to describe the core leadership of the CCP. But political commentator Zhang Zhongyuan says that Xi implies Xi is the center of the CCP. Zhang adds that the need for publishing such an article means that Xi hasn't obtained an overwhelming endorsement within the CCP. Zhang analyzes that the CCP worships blood, therefore the moon is a blood moon. It is not an auspicious sign or metaphor. Current affairs commentator Wang Jian says that the purpose of Xi's article is to seek support within the party. The CCP is facing a very bad situation within and outside of China. Wang believes that Xi's article sends two signals. First, is that Xi has encountered a challenge within the party. Second, is that Xi is insecure. He is warning the party to align with him, otherwise everyone will die together. Wang Jian adds that by taking a very lofty theoretical tune, Xi is actually pleasing the top CCP members and asking for support. In fact, after the CCP's cover-up of the pandemic came to light, waves of criticism against Xi have emerged outside of China. At the same time, floods, earthquakes, and droughts have triggered a lot of public complaints in China. Chinese netizens are talking about the Chinese idiom, "catastrophes are the leading indicators of major changes in society," and wondering whether China is in the middle of another major change, such as a change of dynasty. In the midst of this turmoil, the CCP insiders have begun to panic, and everyone has begun to fight for him or herself. Xi Jinping faced accountability within the party and suffered weak moments. There have even been rumors about a coup. On July 14th, the CCP media revealed that Fu Wenhua, the former chief of staff of the 81st Army, participated in Beijing's 2020 teleconference for military recruitment as the commander of the Beijing Garrison Command, in charge of the capital. This means that Wang Chenning, the former commander of the Beijing Garrison District, lost his official post following the sudden resignation from the Standing Committee of the Beijing Municipal Party Committee in May. At present, Wang Chenning's whereabouts are unknown. Chinese expert Chen Poukong analyzed earlier that Wang Chenning might have been involved in the coup in June. Xi Jinping's current whereabouts are quite strange. He has not made public appearances for two weeks. Not only did he not visit the flood-damaged areas in southern China, but he was not in Beijing either. However, he made a series of changes within the military and within the political and legal system to further cleanse people who are in other power camps.